Howdy folks and welcome to this episode of the Weekend Angler. In this video I'm going to be going over one of the tools I use whenever I'm scouting new waters. The tool I'm talking about is called Fishity and they have both a website and a smartphone application and it allows you to see contour maps, fishing hot spots, and general information about the body of water you're fishing. So let's go ahead and uh, get started and get the website loaded up and I'll walk you through it. All right, folks, when you first log into fishity.com, you're going to see this screen here. Basically, it goes over that you can use this on the computer or use it on your smartphone or tablet. And how it works, if you think of it, Fishity is Facebook for fishermen. It's, you can create a free account. You follow other anglers in their waterway activity. You use the fishing maps to log catches, and you catch more fish and have a little bit more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get logged in here. All right, once you log in, you're going to see your activity feed. This is going to show you any anglers or any bodies of water that you follow. For instance, I follow Kentucky Lake. Somebody's posted a crappie that they caught on a lipless crankbait. And you can scroll down. It's going to give you a little bit of information about the catch, about the conditions. Uh, that particular day it was 63 degrees and cloudy, wind was 14 miles an hour south-southwest. Sometimes people will post a picture of their fish, sometimes they won't. A couple of months ago somebody called him a channel cat up at another lake I follow. But uh, speaking of that, one of the things you could do, probably the most important part of fishity is the maps. So we're going to go ahead and log in and look at uh, one of the lakes I like to fish, which is Lake of Egypt here in southern Illinois. And we'll get that map pulled up. It's one of the Fishity's premium maps, so you're going to get the most data on your premium lakes. By default, it's going to use a Google Maps style of overlay. And most of your lakes are going to have a little bit of description of the body of water. They'll have information on the bottom and the cover present on that body of water. And if you have any major seasonal movements of fish, they'll put those on there. That's I haven't seen much of that in the freshwater lakes, but uh, some of your, your rivers and your salt water, I have seen some information put on that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and hide this pane, which is going to leave us just our fishity map. And we're going to zoom in to about the middle of the lake here. And once this loads up, I'll be able to show you a few of the points. Now, as you can see, it's showing all the depth contour lines here. There's one of the points, one of the runouts. Anytime you see icons for example here's this one in the just off the point you click on that and it'll tell you what it is that is a bridge abutment this one over here is a brush pile now if you see any of the fish fishing hotspots logos you can click on those and it'll give you a little bit of a description of that part. For example, this one here just off that point said there's a four foot deep hump off of Spanish House Point. The hump and adjacent brush piles are favorite locations for late spring and early summer crappie action. The area always seems to hold bass throughout the year. Now, we're gonna zoom out a little bit, move a little bit further down the lake and see if we can find a catch. All right, I've moved a little bit further down the lake. Anytime you see one of the green fish icons, that's where somebody's logged a catch here on the body of water you're looking at. If you click on that, you're gonna be able to find out some details. Go to the details page, there's a picture of the fish. And that fish was caught on a plastic worm, about 17 inches long, couple of pounds, water depth about 10 foot. Now the visibility, when you post a catch, you could set that visibility to everyone 
or you could set that to just yourself and just about everything in between. Uh, also going to show the catch conditions. This one was sky condition clear, air temperature 85, water tip 89 degrees. And that's my buddy Heath. That's one of his fish he caught this summer. But you can also pull up if you see a yellow pin marker. Somebody's marked a point. There's another one that Heath has marked on this lake. This end of the lake, Heath has marked a lot of this up. And that's he's got that labeled as a rock bank. You can go up a little bit further and things really start to get busy there. Now you do have, if you go over here to the right hand side, you do have some other overlays you could use if you decide you don't want the Google Maps. You could use a standard map overlay, kind of simplifies things a little bit. Fishity's also just recently added the Navionics overlays. And that shows just about the same as what you would see on the Navionics web app. But it still is going to show your fishing hotspots points, your catches, and your user created points. You go in, as you can see, there's lots of different overlays you can play with. If you want to, you could even overlay the current radar, the 24, 48, or 72 hour forecast, wind speeds, precipitation, cloud cover, reflectivity just about anything that you're going to want you can find here. Now if we go back to the main menu they do have a bragging board every week Fishity gives away a free one year premium subscription and uh, only thing you have to do to enter this is catch a fish and post a picture of it here at Fishity. Other Fishity members will vote on the picture that they like the best, vote on the catch that they like the best, and the winner gets a free year at Fishity. You can create your own groups, log into different waterways, you check out your followers. Guys, I could spend all day going over a video. Best thing I could tell you to do, go to fishity.com Create a free account, take a look at it, look at the body of water you fish. I just about guarantee that one of the bodies of water you fish is probably a premium water, which means it's going to have all that information on it, including the fishing hot spots. Guys, check it out and uh, take a look at it, see how it goes. Well, folks, that just about wraps up this video. Hope you like what you've seen of the Fishity website, and I'm going to put the link in the description to the video. Head on over and take a look for yourself, see how it works out on your home waters, see what they have for the lakes that you fish. Until next time, y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching my videos, and keep in touch. Thank you.